All right, fam. Here we go. I told y'all, man, we had some. Ex You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team. Yeah. If you in a 7-1, boy, make that bitch run. If you in a 7-2, make it do what it do. If you in a 7-3, see it slide like a G. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not and go out and work on yourself, you hear me? What's good though, fam? Another day above ground, man, equals a day to go out there and boss up, make things happen, you feel me? Put them plan plan plans into play, you feel me? It's not gonna fall in your lap. What's good though, man? Another beautiful day down here in Miami. Florida, you feel me? Where well, the temperature is currently 84 degrees and it's sunny outside. It's hot outside, but I wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, fam, appreciate y'all that's tuned in, man. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all, turn on them post notifications, man. You feel me? You want to have them post notifications turned on, man, because we do post content daily and the content we post be fire. So you wouldn't want to miss that. And you also wouldn't want to miss the don't giveaway. That's right, don't giveaway. We giving away a 1973 two-door hard top. Very solid starter dunk, you feel me? Notice I said starter dunk. It's a starter dunk, it's not a fully built dunk, it's a starter dunk, but it's a solid starter dunk. It's not a bucket, you feel me? It's not a rust bucket, it's a solid starter dunk. And we giving it away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. For a chance to win this dunk, all you have to do is subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel, click that notification bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. Post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So you must have the notifications turned on so you can know when to go watch and comment on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. Feel me? Also, you got to spread the word and tell everybody you know that like don'ts about the Don't Plan a Don't giveaway and tell them to subscribe for their chances to win. You feel me? You gotta spread the word. The quicker we get to 200,000 subscribers, the quicker we give away the don't to one of the DPF. You feel me? But that's basically the rules of that. But yeah, fam, man, we out here, man. We about to get this footage. We on our way. Um. Also, man, y'all see it, man. You gotta brand yourself out there, fam. You know what I'm saying? Put them, put them dreams into play, man. Brand yourself. All that, man. Everything. You see the shirt, man. You see the embroidery. You feel me? Motivational purposes only, man. Get out there and make it happen, fam. Get out there and make it happen. Believe that. But yeah, fam, we on our way. Feel me? Exclusive footage. Um, See y'all when we get there. All right, fam, we just pulled up. I told y'all I had that exclusive for y'all, man. Y'all check this out, man. Oh, man. Exclusive, man. When I say exclusive, I'm talking exclusive, man. Let's get it. All right, fam, here we go. I told y'all, man, we had something exclusive for y'all, man. Exclusive. Very exclusive. Exclusive alert. <laughs> we got two Cadillacs, Le Cabs, both on 24 inch days. This one's center gold. This one all gold. Both big hub, man. Big hub days. This is very exclusive, man. This is an epic moment right here. For me it is. I don't know if you guys understand how serious this is right now. This is very serious. Very, very serious right now. 
like I said, this is a don't channel, but at the same time, we do showcase other cars because although I do love donks, I still love other cars as well, just like some of the viewers out there love other cars besides donks as well. And the cabs are definitely on my list of cars that I love. Not just one Le Cab, two Le Cabs. Both of them on bands. Senegal, all gold, big hubs, stagger. Oh, did I mention stagger? Stagger. Sheesh. Sheesh. This is too hot for TV right now, man. This is too hot for YouTube right now. Too hot for YouTube, man. One red and one off white. Or white. Uh, uh, I want to say white. With the burgundy top. Red. With the red top. 79. 78. This is big, man. This is major. This is major. Believe that. This is major. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at them things. Senegal. All gold. Y'all drop them comments, fam. Fam, drop them comments, man. Drop them comments. Like I said, man, I try to bring us that footage, that exclusive footage, man. And these cars are owned by none other than the homie, Magic City. Magic City, man, what's good, man? Trying to get the homie Magic City to come over here and talk to us about these cars. These cars. Ooh. Oh my God. Definitely something to add to the collection. Definitely collector's items. This one came with a special option, got the bug deflector. Video. This video is a must see. It's a must see. Ooh, look at this angle right here. Y'all like this angle? Or y'all like this angle? What do you guys prefer? Senegals or all goals? <laughs> it don't matter. They date. They date. All right, here we go, man. Owned by none other than the homie Magic City. Don't plan it. What's good? What's going on, man? What's going what's on, good, man? man? Everything good? Everything good, man. Everything good, man. You gotta stand over here in the middle of the cars, man. Let the people know who own these cars, man. Huh? No. 78, 79. I had an 81. Yeah. Man, these stakes are pretty great. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate you stopping by, Don Planet. Appreciate you for having us, man. Appreciate you for having us, man. Today, man, we got that exclusive footage. We got two Le Cabs, man. Talk to us about these Le Cabs, brother. Check it out. This one was the first in the world on staggered Big Hub Dayton's. Uh -huh. um, I had this one on the Paul Rolls first. Okay. You know, um, so I decided to switch her up. We went with these are the first in the world alert. First these, in the world alert. <laughs> these are center gold, 180 spokes. Okay. Staggered Dayton's. Um, okay. 
There's a lot of things right now. A lot of people are getting them. There's a lot of staggeredness going on. Mm -hmm. Some people don't understand the difference, but I mean, as you can clearly see, these are 180 spokes pickups. Okay. OTDs, that's what they call it, a oh. one ton dinghy. Okay. Um, I grew up watching these on dunks back in the day, so to me, the old, the new things, I just, I don't really like them. Not my type of tea, you know? Mm -hmm. But you can see the difference. Like, you see less through it, more spokes. Um, this one I just finished now, thanks to my buddy Jason out there for the rear end work. Um, just picked it up last week. You know, it was a California car. Yeah. This one came from New York. Okay. This one's a 78. This one's a 79. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see the difference in the emblem. This one has it on the fenders. The other one has it on the quarter panel. So 78, 78 Le Cabs emblems are located yeah. up in the front. Up in the front. And the 79s are located to the back? To the back, yeah, the back of the quarter panel. Fam, y'all see that? 79 Le Cab emblems are located to the back. You know, and then all Le Cabs, that's the, the manufacturing date, basically. The day they were made convertibles. Mm -hmm. Wow. You see, this car is all original. It's got 53,000 miles. You know, uh, original stitching, original interior. Wow. You got the Don Julio back there. You can't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't forget that. You know, when you drive this car, this bitch drives like a Cadillac, you know? Mm -hmm. wow. AC, cold AC, mm -hmm. the doors close perfect. Yeah, they do. You know, same thing as this one. This one is the 79. So you can check it out, another low mileage car. You know, it's hard to come across them, you know? So right now you really gotta get them how they come, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I flew nice. out, bought the car in California. Nice. You know, and and I just gave it the Miami twist. Mm -hmm. You see, these are right here, the cabriolet also on the dash. You know, it's little things like that. This one also has a manufacturing date on the other side. Okay. You know, um, staggered pickups, again, 180 spokes. If you go through it, this one still has the original Crybaby tag. It expired in 1980. Crybaby tag, what's yeah. that? Um, that was the name that I guess the original owner gave the car. Okay. And it fits it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of these niggas out there are crybabies, you know? <laughs> that, that's where the car was bought originally. This one also right here said Hassan Hart. Badging on it. What did I say? Hessen Eisenhart. Hessen Eisenhart. Okay. That's the that's the company that made them. For real? Yeah, because these started off at Coupe de Ville's. Coupe de Ville's. Yeah, Coupe de Ville's. And then if you notice also this one has the the manufacturing date also. Okay. So this thing right here, that's like a yeah. that's the logo emblem? That's the, right, that's the logo. That's an Eisenhart. Okay. If you notice this car, no rust. You know I I try to buy clean cars. You know, obviously nothing is perfect in the world, you know, but yeah. we gotta try to reach at exactly. something, you know, like. But definitely, the doors. but definitely for the year of this car compared to where, what year we're in now, this oh, is like yeah. it's, it's pretty perfect. Right, right, definitely. One thing I wanted to ask you was, uh, usually I see Cadillacs with the Cadillac emblem, but that's not a Cadillac emblem. No, the, this one's right here. It's the same thing. This one and that one, they both have the same emblem. It's the company that manufactured them, you know? Okay. That did the conversion. Okay. Uh, it's called Hessen Heisenhart. Okay, that's Hessen Heisenhart. Yeah. So uh, logo. Okay. These are one of 300 made. Okay. You know, so if you really start breaking it down regarding colors and manufacturing dates and stuff like that, so it's about 100 made each year. Mm -hmm. They made them up to 82. Okay. You know, uh, that's the one we're going for next. And I was just trying to give it a different look, you know? I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, I was under the impression that when they said 300, and I was under the impression that Le Cab was only made in 79. I thought it was only 300 oh, it's of only, 1979. No, they made 78 and 79, 80 and 81. You know, they're pretty rare. You know, you really don't see them. And that's why I thank Don Planet for coming out here. I know it's a Don show, but he had the exclusive alert, so he had to come check them out, you know? Had to, had to, had to. Had to come check them out. And 
like when you got these cars like uh like they so in perfect condition to me my my opinion like as far as the paint goes like the trim goes like right. did you have anything done to it did you paint it over no, or? these are these are original cars um obviously i did my little polishing tweaking and cleaning and stuff like that on them mm -hmm. but these cars are not like a 57 Belair, a 69 Camaro that you could just go ahead and order parts. Yeah. You know, so these, you gotta get them how they come and you gotta try to have them as complete as possible uh -huh. because it's nearly impossible to get the belt mold, you know, mm -hmm. to get the trims. Like yeah. you really don't find that, you know, especially if you do, it's not gonna be in the condition of these two. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So when I bought these cars, this one came from California. This one came from New York. I basically pretty much bought them stock and I knew the look I was going for and the amount of work that I wanted to put in. So I'd rather go with the clean car, man. You know, it's it's gonna yeah. be clean, it's gonna hold its value and I try not to hurt them, you know? Exactly. Cause like, yeah, the reason I asked because it's like, I'm looking at these cars, like even the rubber, the rubber look like it's brand new. If you ask me, like it's in great condition. The rubber on the bumper. Yeah, that's just original. Like, like like Honestly. the grill, like all the trim around the around the lights, like it's, everything is just, it looks new to me. You feel me? Like everything is just in great condition on these, on both of these Cadillacs. And if you see, notice the grill difference. This one is a 79. It has more. Yeah, more that's the 79 grill. Than the 78. And this is the 78 grill. This is 78. It's got the factory older bug deflector. See the 78 grill fam. Yeah, definitely different grills. You see, and if you go through the car, this was factory order from Cadillac. That's the original dealer where it was purchased at George Wilson. Oh, there you got grills on the bumper too. I didn't yes. even pay attention to that. Wow. Well, the 24 inch day is these do these cars still ride like Cadillac? Yeah, it rides like a Cadillac. I love this car. I put on my AC, I drive it anywhere. Actually, as long as it's not raining, because I really don't want to dirty the spokes, mm -hmm. I drive it, man. You know, last weekend I was driving her all over, you know, like just enjoying the weather, you know? It's good weather right now. Um, and if you notice, these these were custom-made 24-inch Senegal Daytons. These are the only ones in the world that are out right now. Oh, yeah, I meant to ask you about that, too. When you said first in the world, first in the world, Senegal staggered big hubs. First in the world, Senegal staggered big hubs, fam. There, there is no other one out there. And the only ones that are out there, they don't have that many spokes. Now for the people that don't know, everybody always say big hub, big hub. Well, I got the big hub days, well, I got the small hub days. What, what do you, what do, what, can you please explain to the people well, what's a big yeah, hub? OTD, the hub right here, it holds 180 spokes. So it's, is like, this the hub or is back there the hub? Well, basically the whole center structure. You okay, know? Okay, okay. Um, it's, it's tend to hold more weight. Okay. Because they were made for Suburbans, Tahoes, big cars. Okay. So, obviously, you need more spokes to be able to support the weight. Okay. So, these, they don't make them no more. So, if you wanted a set of staggers, it will cost you a lot, you know? And you would have to wait, and basically, they're all custom ordered. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, see, you can see the back. All of these things are basically remanufactured by Dayton. Exactly. They all restored the specs. That's 24 karat gold plating. Uh -huh. You know, you could go through the whole car, like basically the rims are brand new, you know? Yeah, definitely. Brand new. Y'all see the stick on the wheels. This car white or like off-white or? It's uh it's a record, the original off-white. It's the original off-white. You know, I got a uh, a spare Dayton in the back too, just in case you break down, you know? Dope. Spare Dayton in the trunk, fam. Yeah, that's my buddy Num Nuts. Doopy -doo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're still rapping the music, you know? We gotta wrap it up. It's a project. I really don't have no rush on it since there's really nothing going on down here. Mm -hmm. You know, check out the trunk. Ooh, that's nice. Cadillac, man, not a Chevy. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you call that when the trunk does that? What, what, what's the option? It's, a, it's an actuator. It's, it's a, an actuator. It's a, yeah, it's an actuator. You know, it's just, they come like that from stock. You know, basically, 
all Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. You know, all Cadillacs, 90, 91, 92s, that's like a standard option for them, you know? Yeah. Here's basically what, what it was is, they grabbed the Coupe de Ville, and then they just made the Cadillac conversion. A lot of people try to duplicate them, but you can't, you can't match something that factory made you know yeah, exactly like yeah a lot of people are like the custom co custom convertibles i've never i like them sometimes when the top is down but like when you put the top up you can always tell yeah you can tell that, yeah, it, was, exactly. that it was not original and if you notice these right here they're not like a dunk you know they have the window frost you know dunks usually have the like the blower back there yeah you know so just in case your window does get foggy or whatnot yeah that activates it but this being a kind of like obviously they try to go the extra step because they're supposed to be the luxury cars. What made you get two uh, Le Cabs? Well, I had one. You know, I bought this one first and then I felt like I had to have another one. I was built in the process of building one and I just wasn't happy with the outcome. So I said, I got to try to find me one. And then I found that one and I flew out to look at it. You know, the car was in California and I felt like it met my standards, you know? So, so you have to come with me. And what kind of heart they running up under the hood? The 425s, the 425 big block. This one, they're all original. If you notice, um, it's got all the blue markings on it. Let me show you now. Nice. So you got all the factory blue bolts. Mm -hmm. Factory blue bolts, fam. Y'all see that? Yeah, all of that. What you see blue is because it's supposed to be like that. Not because I wanted to get creative. Mm -hmm. Electronic fuel injection. Yeah. EFI. Yeah, it's a fuel injector, basically big block. Look where the the AC compressors mounted in the, like in the middle of the motor. Nice. You know, this car is basically all stock. I just put gas and go. This is a very beautiful car, man. Very beautiful. And y'all see it, man. All original 78, right? This is the 78 right here. All original 78 LeCab, man. Man, you got your two, two magnificent pieces of machinery on your hand, bro. Appreciate it, man. Wow. Wow. It's hard to see one, but then you see two. And then it's hard to see one on big updates, and then you see two. So, <laughs> you ain't lying about that. We just make it hard for them, though. You ain't lying about you that. Two of them. <laughs> two of them and two of them on big hubs. Two of them on big hubs. You feel me? Two of them out of 300. Both on big hubs, man. Out of 300. Well, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you winning right now. You got two out of the 300 that's out there. Appreciate it, man. Y'all see it, fam. Man, give it up for the LeCabs, man. Give it up for Magic City. Magic City doing its thing. Look at that money shot right here, fam. Side by side, 78, 79. Like, we get a lot of people on the channel that be asking if the car's for sale or whatnot. Are any of these cars for sale? If the bag is right, they can be. Mm -hmm. Somebody's supposed to fly in today and look at this one. Yeah. I told them if it's not what I wanted, don't even bother. Go right back to South Beach. <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and then yeah. this one is the same, man. You know, it's just so hard when you value something that that they, you can't put a price on it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You can't. The only thing I can put a price here is on the rims because I know what I paid for it. Yeah. Obviously, I know what I paid for the car, but rims come and go. Exactly. The car. Good luck finding another one in that condition. And if you go under the car, the car looks as good as it does on top on the bottom. Yeah? Yeah, it's never been undercoated. It's all white under there. Um, you know, it's just, like you said, a fine piece of machinery. Jeez. Yeah, boy, you doing it. I love him. I love him. I'm gonna have to go play the lotto. If I win the lotto, I gotta come back and buy one from you. You feel me? Don't worry, I'll give you the PP price. <laughs> Magic City Classics, fam. Y'all see it. For anybody out there that's trying to get in the game, man, you got any advice for them? Um, jump in and now before it gets more expensive. Mm -hmm. Jump in and now before it gets more expensive and 
always remember, man, if you start with a clean project, you're gonna have less headaches, less bullshit you gotta deal with with shops, and you could be out in no time, you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously, everything needs work, but if you start off with a clean car, that you got all your trims, you got all your, all your pieces, like, at the end of the day, once you're completed, it's you're gonna have less time and you're gonna enjoy your shit faster you know mm -hmm. it's just sometimes right now shops just dragging and by the time you notice you're four or five years deep in a car that by the time you notice all your shit is outdated exactly. you know so that's true i feel like if I, everything costs you know everything costs because if you buy a car for 10 grand you're gonna have to put another 30 in it so i feel like the way i think is you might as well just buy one that's already forty thousand. You know, yeah, you gotta do your shit, but mm -hmm. it's a clean car, you know, and then it's less shit that you gotta deal with. Yeah. You know, like, that's why when I bought this one, I made sure that it's what I wanted because I don't wanna deal with the headaches, you know? Exactly. I don't wanna deal with the part hunts and then getting taxed from people just because they have the parts and I don't, you know? I got the parts and if I can't find a clean car the way I want it, then I'll just wait. But jump in the shit, go jump in the game fast, because. These shits are going up, man. Definitely. Definitely. Price is going up. I see a car just went for, a donk just went for 70000 at the auction. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah, that one, the 71, just went for seventy. My buddy Chris just sold his seventy five for 100000 Oh, wow. I got a seventy in my shop right now with 6,000 miles. I got the 75 with 10,000 miles. So, to me, it's it's the originalities we're selling right now. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody could build a dunk. Mm -hmm. Anybody could drop an LS motor. Anybody could put whatever they want. You know, but it's getting harder and harder to find a car with X amount of miles in the conditions they are. You know, you got Regals. Buick Regals were selling for 3,500 last month. You know, now I know a buddy of mine just bought one for 10,000. Oh, wow. Yes, and it's a Regal. You know, like. Wow. The prices are just skyrocketing, and it's, it's not like a doggy coin that, yeah, goes up and down. Like, this shit's gonna hold value, man. You know, it's always gonna be expensive to play a card game. You know, it's not mm -hmm. a game for for the weak. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Well, he just dropped some jewels on him, boy. Real talk. Real talk. Well, we appreciate you doing this video with us, bro. Appreciate you stopping by, man. We appreciate I know you. you. Came, I got, you came to see the leak abs. I know you're dog planning, so. I appreciate you for taking your time, man. Come in and check them out, man. No problem, man. Definitely, man. Appreciate you. Nah, thanks, buddy. Man, y'all see what's going on, man. Tula Cal, man. It's that exclusive footage. I told y'all I had that exclusive footage. Did I deliver on that or what? I told y'all I had that exclusive for y'all. Tula Cavs. Both on gold dates. Both on dates. One all gold. One center gold. Both big hub. Both 180 spokes. 178, 179. Oh my God. Y'all just don't understand my love for these cars, man. Y'all just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanna take one of these babies home with me, man. I, don't, I just don't know if I wanna take the red one or I wanna take the white one, man. Jeez. But yeah, fam, y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see what's going on. Let's give a round of applause to Magic City. And both of the LeCabs. Standing ovation, fam. Fam, I'm so motivated right now. Just like I said in yesterday's video, I don't know how somebody could see somebody doing good or got a beautiful car or two beautiful cars looking real good and not just be motivated by it you feel me some people see things like this and they develop some type of hatred inside or you know what i mean like why him and not me or whatever whatever be going through their mind when they develop that type of hatred man all i'm looking at right now is motivation man that's motivation fam fam all i'm looking at right now is motivation ain't no hatred right now ain't no way i'm looking at these two cars right now and feeling some type of hatred about who owns it or whatever the hell you feel me all I see right now is motivation. All I see is motivation, man. It's out there. Get on your grind and get it. Until next time, fam, keep it locked right here. Don't plan it live behind the scenes. You hear me?